Ah, hello! I am back at Pinaf looking for fossils. Uh, now that everything has calmed down with my education. And here we have a giant ammonite. Awesome! That's one of my first that I found today. So that's a brilliant specimen. Uh, it's probably a bit too heavy for me to take. This one's probably going to stay here. Um, so if someone comes by and has the means to take it, sure thing. So, so far I've been finding some really interesting fossils. What's really weird today is I'm not really finding any ammonite material. I pretty much just found that giant one. But finding quite a lot of bivalves like this. This is a pretty cool one here in a nice block of rock. Um, and there's a couple of these actually uh, being found around the area. So it's really interesting how these are becoming the most common find of the day. But no ammonites. Really strange. I've also found this strange little thing, and it doesn't appear like the other rocks in the area. And I have a hunch that it might actually represent a copulite from an ichthyosaur. It might not, I'm not really familiar with ichthyosaur copulites, but this one looks really interesting. It looks different from the, the other rocks that aren't fossils, and it just, it just seems more organic in origin and has become fossilized, but I could be completely wrong on this. But this is pretty cool if it is. So over there you can see some rocks moving. Um, there was just a massive rock fall. Um, this is why we try not to get too close to the cliffs. Really don't. Don't. If you don't really have a good reason to. Um, they're quite dangerous if you go fossil hunting near them. So I that caught me off guard. Uh, luckily I wasn't anywhere near it. And I don't really attempt to try to go near the cliffs. So just be aware of that. Um, it's quite annoying that I actually missed that because that would have been a good video to show how dangerous being too close to the cliff can be. So uh, that is my awareness to you guys today. Just avoid that if you go fossil hunting. You may have noticed I've got a really big grin on my face. Look at that. I am so happy. I've waited <laughs> two years for this moment. This is definitely a reptile vertebra. This is this is most likely an ichthyosaur. Oh yes, look at the size of it. Look at it. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I am so happy about that. Beautiful fossil. It's for the last two years I've pretty much only ever found ammonites and bivalves. I found a very small ichthyosaur vertebra um, last year. But never did I think I would find something like this. This is incredible. This has made my day. So I've come to the other side of the coastline now. I'm on Lavanock, And I've just found this. It's one of those bivalves. But what's interesting about this fossil is the other side of the bivalve is connected to it. I've always wanted to find one of these fossils. Uh, usually the shells become separated. But in this case... Uh, they fossilized together without becoming disarticulated. So that's really cool. That's a really nice one. That's going into the collection. So this is pretty cool. Starting to find some really nice ammonite material here. This is embedded in some really thick rock. Some really tough rock. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that out. But I thought I would show that. But this is cool. This I am going to take. Lovely ammonite. That is cool. Another one for the collection. That's a really good one. So I found some fossils here. Uh, there hasn't been nearly as much as in Penarth, which is just extraordinary. Usually I find most of my good finds on this side of the coastline, but for today it's been the complete opposite, and frankly it's just been awesome. 